Digital marketing based on business outcomes, not vanity metrics. You just bought a billion ad impressions. What do you have to show for it? Excel spreadsheets or fancy dashboards that show how many impressions you bought, how many clicks you got, and what average CPM price you paid for those ads. But did those ads drive any business outcomes for your company? As a marketer, your duty is to drive business outcomes and revenues for your company, not to spend it all so I can get more budget next year. You can also drive the bottom line, profits, by not spending ad budget on useless ads. Every dollar saved is a dollar more of profits for your company. The largest of advertisers that have gigantic digital ad budgets to spend before the end of the year are by far the most at risk of ad fraud. In fact, they practically incentivize ad fraud because there's not enough real ads from real human activity to absorb all that budget. The largest of advertisers are also the parties who are most willing to delude themselves with data, of course with the help of trade associations and verification vendors that tell them fraud is low and to keep spending like maniacs. Small and medium businesses can immediately tell if digital campaigns are not driving any new customers or sales for them and will adjust accordingly, like stop spending. But but programmatic is driving so much traffic. Google Analytics and Adobe Analytics don't tell the advertiser how many of those clicks from programmatic channels are not humans. Getting a lot of clicks does not mean performance, and certainly does not mean more business outcomes. If most of the clicks you got were from bots, then whatever ads you bought upstream from these clicks were crappy or entirely useless. Of course, you didn't know that because for years, the legacy fraud verification companies you paid for didn't tell you anything useful. In fact, they told you something that was harmful instead that fraud and other issues were less than 1%. That's why you did nothing about it. If fraud were that low, why would you do anything differently? See the following hilarious screenshot from a legacy fraud verification vendor dashboard. Everything is deemed 99%, brand suitable, fraud free and in geo, yay. No need to do anything differently. But sadly, these numbers are the result of the legacy fraud verification vendors not being able to detect most of the fraud. That is, fraudsters are easily able to avoid their detection. Foo Analytics. Analytics for your digital media. Just like you have Google Analytics for your website, you can add Foo Analytics to your website to get new insights that GA could not give you. Even though you've paid for legacy fraud verification for years, they have done nothing useful for you. They haven't reduced fraud for you because they couldn't detect most of it in the first place. When was the last time they gave you a list of sites and apps to add to a block list? Advertisers are adding Foo Analytics in-ad measurement tags to their programmatic ads so they can see where their ads went and determine which sites and apps they should turn off due to fraud of all kinds, not just bot traffic. For example, ad stacking, pixel stuffing, auto-refreshing of ad slots, hidden ads, pop-unders, etc. etc. There's an endless number of sites and apps that are committing fraud, and block lists are only so long, 10,000 rows in most cases. You realise that a block list approach is an endless game of whack-a-mole. Savvy advertisers have started adding new campaign lines that use an inclusion list approach, adding only quality sites and apps to the inclusion list. There's only a small number of these. Let common sense be your guide here. Optimise towards humans, not just away from bots and fraud. Once you have the right analytics in place, you can not only optimise away from all forms of fraud, not just invalid traffic, IVT. You can also compare the relative quality of different paid channels. With legacy fraud verification vendors, you only got a number, a percent IVT or fraud. The legacy fraud vendors don't measure for humans. By upgrading your tools, you can see not only the levels of fraud, but also the levels of humans, dark blue. With these newfound details, you can not only optimize away from fraud, but also optimize towards humans. So what? Now to bring this home, you can finally start to optimize for business outcomes once you have taken care of the above. Showing ads to humans in the first place is necessary for digital campaigns to have any impact on business outcomes. When you have the ability to measure for humans, you can see that you can buy far fewer ad impressions, pay higher CPM prices to good publishers, and still save money, get your ads in front of humans, and drive more business outcomes for your company. That is how you become better stewards of the digital investments you were entrusted with. Are you with me?